看葡萄树。有一只鹿一直住在森林里。有一天，它想要去看看不同的世界，于是离开了森林，跑到人类的地方玩耍。但没多久，这只鹿就被猎人发现了。于是猎人就骑着马追捕这只鹿。这只鹿为了要逃开猎人的追捕，它不停的跑啊跑的。突然间，一棵葡萄树对着这只鹿说话：“嘿，过来这里。”你可以躲在我下面，葡萄树说。鹿听到了之后，便躲到葡萄树的大叶子底下。正当鹿躲在葡萄树底下的同时，猎人开始到处扫射所有他可能躲藏的地方。鹿在树下躲了好久，等着猎人离开。当他确定所有的危机都解除之后，才从葡萄树下走出来。他很骄傲地说：“他好笨，我离他这么近，居然没发现到我。”就在此时，葡萄树感到有点疼痛。接着，发现这只鹿正在慢慢的啃着它的叶子。葡萄树很生气的说：“我帮你那么多，你怎么可以这样对我？”鹿回答道：“你很小气耶，我真的很饿。如果你没躲在我的叶子下。”你很可能就变成猎人的猎物了，葡萄树说。鹿听了之后，虽然感到羞愧，但是它仍然继续吃着葡萄树的叶子。没多久，树就变得光秃秃的，一片叶子都不剩了。就在鹿想要离开的时候。猎人又折回来了。现在，鹿再也没有任何东西可以让它遮蔽躲藏了。就在这时，猎人发了一箭，射中了鹿。鹿临死前说：“这是我自作自受，我不应该伤害那救我一命的葡萄树啊。”故事结束了，让我们用英文再读一遍吧。The Heart and the Vine. A stag used to live in the forest. One day, the stag wanted to see a different world. He left the forest for the humans' lands to play. But soon. The stag was found by a hunter. The hunter chased the stag by riding a horse. The stag tried to escape from the hunter, so the stag kept running and running. Suddenly, a vine talked to the stag. "Hey, come here! You can hide beneath me," said the vine. The stag heard it. And then he hid himself beneath the large leaves of the vine. As the stag hid beneath the vine, the hunter started shooting everywhere. For a long time, the stag waited for the hunter to go away. After he made sure all danger had passed, he walked out of the vine. He was so proud. He is so stupid. I was so close to him, but he couldn't find me. Suddenly, the vine felt hurt. It turns out that the stag began to nibble his leaves. The vine got angry and said, 
I helped you a lot. How can you do that to me? The stag replied, "You are so pretty. I am really hungry." If you didn't hide yourself under my leaves, you might have been a prey of that hunter. The vine said. After hearing that, the stag felt ashamed, but he couldn't stop eating the vine's leaves. After a while, no leaves were left on the vine. As the stag was about to leave, the hunter came back from afar. The stag now had no place to hide himself. The hunter shot an arrow from his bow and struck the stag. As the stag was nearing death, he said, "I deserve it. I shouldn't have hurt the vine that saved me from death."